Now, from downward dog, you're going to lift your right leg up into three-legged downward dog. Once again, level those hips. Slowly exhale, start to bring your right foot all the way in between your palms. Lifting off your left heel slightly. We're going to high lunge here. All right, now stack your right knee just above the right ankle. You are going to lift both arms up into high lunge. All right, now start to bend at that left knee. Just lower your left knee a few inches above the mat. We're going to do 12 pulses here. So it's going to look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Let your left knee hover for a few seconds, just a few inches above the mat. Keep it strong. Now slowly lower both palms onto the mat. Start to straighten your left leg. Lower your left palm onto the mat. We go to twist lunge. You're going to twist, you're going to look to your right, lift up your right arm. Keep that left leg engaged, we don't want, sorry, keep that left shoulder engaged, we don't want that left shoulder drooping here. Now slowly lower your right palm onto the mat, lower down onto your left knee, untuck your left foot. Now, place both palms onto the mat, you're going to bring your right hand to grip your left foot. You're gonna pull on your left hip flexor. You're gonna look over your right shoulder. Once again, keep your left shoulder engaged and try not to droop down. If your right, if your left foot does not touch the buttocks, it's all right. We do what you're comfortable with. Now slowly let go of your left foot. Lower your left foot onto the mat. Palms back onto the mat. We're going to um, have a hamstring stretch. You're going to lean your buttocks back. Extend your right leg. So straighten your right leg. Now curl your foot, uh, your foot in towards you. Place both palms onto the mat. You're going to bring your head close to your right knee. If you need to, you can use the blocks here. So you can place your blocks to your side, straighten your right leg, and bring the head close to your right knee. Now if your head doesn't touch your right knee, it is all right, you can slightly bend at the right knee, and just feel that pull on the hamstring. So depending on your level of comfort once again. If you're not using the blocks, place both palms onto the mat, push down on your right knee, Lock that right leg, curl your foot in towards you. Come forward and stay as comfortable as you can. I really feel that pull on my hamstring here. Now slowly coming forward, now place your right foot back onto the mat. Lean back once again, coming. Uh, bring your head onto your right knee. Slowly coming forward again, leaning to the front, sinking into your hips. And back one last time. And plant your right foot back onto the mat. You're going to tuck in your left foot, lift off your left knee. Find that your right foot runs parallel to the front, running to your left foot at the back. So both feet are facing the front. We go to intense side stretch here. So as much as possible, try to keep both legs straight. Now, um, depending on what you're comfortable with, you can either use the blocks, keep both legs straight, and try to bring your head close to your right knee. Or if you're not using the blocks, either place both palms onto the mat, bring your head close to your right knee, or if you want some added challenge, hook your fingers to the back of you and bring your head close to your right knee.
Now unhook your fingers and place both palms to the front. Walk your left foot all the way right up next to your right foot. You're going to hug yourselves. Bring your arms to the back, your forearms to the back of your knees. Hook at the opposite ends of the elbows. Push your knees back. Bring your head close to your knees or slightly bend the knees up to you. Drop both palms onto the mat. Inhale, halfway come up. Exhale, deepen your bend. Walk your right leg to the back, left leg to the back. Lower down to Chaturanga. Lower down onto your knees, arms up your feet. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, push back, down dog. We're going to repeat this time on the opposite side. Lift your left leg up. Three like a tower dog. Exhale, start to bring your left foot, big step forward in between your palms. Your right heel is lifted slightly this time around. We're going to go to high lunge here. So keep your left knee just above the left ankle. Extend both arms up. Start to bend at that right knee. We're going to do 12 pulses here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Halfway there. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Let it hover for a few breaths. Poof, I can feel it burning. Drop both palms onto the mat. Straighten up your right leg. Left palm onto the mat. We go to twist lunge here. Keep your right shoulder engaged and not drooping. Push your weight. Look up to your left arm. Now slowly lower down onto your left palm. Both palms onto the mat. Lower down onto your right knee and tuck your right foot. Now your right palm remains on the mat. You're going to bring your left hand to grip your right foot. All right, and look over your left shoulder. Keep that right shoulder pushed away and not drooping. If your right foot doesn't touch your buttocks, it is all right. You just pull to your level of comfort. Now let go of your right foot, lower your left palm onto the mat. We're going to go to hamstring stretch here. So straighten that left leg, place both palms onto the mat, curl your toes in towards you. You're going to bring your head close to your left knee. Once again, if you're using blocks, place the blocks to the sides and bring your head close to your left knee. If you feel like you need to bend the left knee slightly, go for it. And if your head does not touch the left knee, it is all right. Just feel and try to enjoy that pull on the hamstring. Now we're gonna slowly lean forward, sink into your hips. One, exhale, push back, keep that left leg straight, pull your toes in towards you. Coming forward again, sinking into your hips. Keep your left knee above the left ankle. Sink back, two. And last one here. Coming forward, and exhale, moving back. Last hamstring pull here. And plant your left foot onto the mat, tuck your right foot in, lift up your right knee. Find that your left foot runs parallel to your right foot at the back this time. Either use the block if you need to. Place both blocks to the side. Bring your head close to your left knee. Or you can lose the blocks. Place both palms onto the block in intense side stretch here. Or if you want to, you can hook your fingers, extend your arms to your back, 
and bring your head close to your left knee. Now unhook your fingers, place both palms to the front, right up next to your left foot, walk your right foot up to the front. You're going to hug yourself once again. Bring your arms to the back of your knees, cup the opposite ends of the elbows, bend your knees if you need to, straighten your legs if you can, draw your head closer to your knees if you would like to. Drop both palms onto the mat, Inhale, halfway come up, straightening your back, and exhale, deepen your bend. Walk your right leg to the back, left leg to the back, upper plank, lower down, chaturanga, lower down onto your knees, inhale, up top, and exhale, push back, down dog. 